Hey guys, listen, I wanted to talk about stress and your immune system, the connection between the two. Now, it is true that there's a lot of your immune system related to your gut and its influence on the integrity of the lining of the colon and, and what you eat, okay? But what I'm gonna talk about is another thing. I'm gonna talk about how stress influences your immune system in general. Because if you take any person with a chronic health problem, um, nearly 100% of the time, it originated with some type of a stressful event. I did my live show last Friday and I had a lady call in and talk about health problems and chronic health problems. She had digestive problems and allergies and sleep problems. And uh, she didn't have a weight problem, but she had all sorts of digestive issues. And this has been going on for years and years and years. And she was eating better, but it wasn't getting well. So I asked her, I said, when exactly did it all start, okay? She couldn't really remember, so I, I said, well, when were you doing well? And she gave me a date, I think it was like when she was 30 years old. And then 31, that's when things started going downhill. And I wanted to find out what was the change, what happened? And um, she told me a massive stress situation, which I already knew because I've been doing this for 29 years and this is what comes up over and over and over. It's this underlying stress thing. So what I wanna talk about is how stress can predispose you to getting sick, okay? Because what it does to the adrenal hormone called cortisol. Cortisol is a type of hormone that is intimately involved in the immune response. It actually suppresses the white blood cell. It suppresses the T cells, for example, which are involved in training the immune system and getting them to uh, learn how to fight off infections. It actually lowers the immune barrier, then allows the viruses to innervate the cells. That's why people get virus infections when they get stressed. Shingles, herpes, things like that. It actually will increase the platelets, which then can set you up for clotting factors, okay? Uh, increases neutrophils, which then lead to inflammation. So there's a whole immune thing going on when that stress is activated. In fact, take any autoimmune disease and stress is definitely involved in those conditions. Think about the typical treatment is prednisone. What is that? It's a synthetic type of cortisol because the adrenal hormones will decrease inflammation and decrease immune function. And so if there's an allergy involved or high levels of histamine, people take prednisone or cortisone, okay? Because it has that function. So basically when the stress goes too high, we have an alteration in cortisol and adrenal function, and this leads to a drop in the defense mechanism. Now there's many different types of stress. You have physical trauma, you have surgery, you have being involved in a relationship with someone who is stressing you out 24 seven. But I think the biggest stress is losses, okay? A loss of a loved one, loss of a job. That can really hit someone hardcore. And that's the health just starts going downhill. And of course, there's all sorts of things that you can do, you know, go for long walks, uh, be in sunshine to get more vitamin D, which is all gonna help the immune system. You know, remove yourself from the stress, go on a vacation. Take B vitamins, get more sleep, and of course you already know this. But what I want to talk about is what to do with the stress that's stuck in your body. You have to realize that all the stress that you experience kind of gets stuck in the body like a sponge. The saying that time heals all, no, it doesn't. It actually makes things get worse relating to stress because all the stress tends to build up in certain parts of your body. So there is a way to help someone with the accumulation of stress and I developed an acupressure technique. I put some links down below of all the different techniques that you can use. Um, there's different parts of your body that are involved in the flight or fight mechanism that's called the sympathetic nervous system. And then there's also the opposite system called the parasympathetics, which counter the stress. And this is part of the nervous system that is throughout the body. So there is a way to tap into that to release that stress. The one of the most powerful ones is working on the neck points because up in the top part of the neck, there is a certain center that controls the parasympathetic nervous system. This is kind of like the off switch. This is the system that relaxes you. So I found when you apply pressure to these points, it can really help people get into a relaxed state. The next points are in the mid back, okay? These are part of the sympathetic nervous system points which can also be released to relax the flight or fight mechanism. Then you have points in the abdomen area which can indirectly influence 
the actual adrenal glands which are located deep inside. Now you're not actually working on the adrenal glands, you're working on the acupressure points that are connected to the adrenal gland. If you take any person that's stressed out, they're bound to have a lot of tension in the abdomen and the muscles around the adrenal glands. Now this technique can be done two ways. You can do it on someone else or you can use a massage tool to do it on yourself, okay? I show you both ways on the video, so if you don't have someone, you can get the tool and do it on yourself. All right, so I put some links down below. Definitely try this out. I think it can really help you, especially if you've been a pin cushion for stress your entire life. Hey, you know what? I just want to say something. Only 30% of the people that are watching this video actually make it this far, and you did. So I really appreciate you. Thank you so much.